Well, Republicans who have already nominated J.D. Vance in Ohio, someone who believes women who are being abused by their husbands and their children being abused should stay in those marriages because that's better for society or something to get beaten, harmed, have your bones broken, maybe be killed and the same happen to your kids. Um, but we've talked about J.D. Vance before. Let's talk about his partner in crime, so to speak, Blake Masters, who was nominated yesterday in Arizona for the U.S. Senate. Why are they partners in crime? Because they're both little uh, marionettes of Peter Thiel, the James Bond-like billionaire villain from the West Coast, who has, instead of putting money into things like, you know, cheaper prescription drugs like Mark Cuban or fighting gun proliferation like Michael Bloomberg or some other things of that nature, um, Peter Thiel's just put money into trying to live forever because, again, he's a James Bond villain or like the bad guy character in the second Wolverine movie or, you know, you can go on, what was it, Sixth Day or whatever with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, crazy guy that kept dying and cloning himself. That's Peter Thiel. And he controls these little puppets like marionettes. He got them rich through his venture capital. He remember his original owner of PayPal, among other companies, uh, with Elon Musk. Quite a twosome there. The world certainly couldn't have done without both of them. Oh, no. Um, and so now uh, Blake Masters is a nominee, and he hasn't, as I know of, as of yet, he hasn't uh, come out in favor of women staying in abusive relationships where they might be murdered. He has ever come out against abortion in all cases. So 10-year-olds and should be tortured who are raped by strangers and 14-year-olds who are molested by uh, their uncle. As Tudor Dixon, whatever her name is, from Michigan, running for governor, said, they should be forced to have that child. And it's a perfect opportunity. It's great. It's like making lemon lemonade out of lemons and, you know, every other stupid thing they say about destroying the body, mind, and soul of a young girl. Um, but Blake Masters also has a Nazi problem, which is not unusual these days, right? Madison Cawthorn, his greatest moment, as he said, was visiting the Fuhrer's uh, <laughs> summer getaway, the Eagle's Nest. Um, numerous Republicans have made statements on the floor of, uh, you know, uh, the one that Karen Miller, the one in uh, Illinois, Congresswoman, who's come out and said that uh, Hitler knew what he was doing. He had the youth. A lot of good Hitler quotes, a lot of good Nazi quotes. Nazis weren't all bad. Uh, you may remember when Candace Owens was like, well, if they just stayed domestically, I mean, what Hitler wasn't doing was wrong. Yeah, if he'd only killed all of the Jews, gypsies, uh, gays, black, you know, I could go on basically everybody but the Aryan race, and he'd only done that in Germany, it would have been just fine. Which also, by the way, would have gone great for Candace. I know she looks in a mirror and sees somebody white. You're not white. And Hitler probably would have noticed that. But again, I digress. So Blake Masters won. The thing about Blake Masters is he's been endorsed by numerous Nazis, refuses to reject their endorsements. And he, and uh, I mean, like out and out, we're talking Oath Keeper types and whatever who have come out and flown Nazi flags, but he also uh, approvingly quoted Hermann Goring, who you may know after a long trial was actually put to death at the Nuremberg trials for crimes against humanity, war crimes, murder, and killed many allied and American troops. Uh, Hermann Goring was also once famous for saying, take this to heart, that uh, it's the same in every country. Say that the other side hates your country and that they're terrorists and you'll get all the people behind you. That sounds nothing like Blake Masters or J.D. Vance. Um, so Blake Masters, Nazi, Blake Masters, woman hater, Blake Masters who thinks, oh, he loves guns, loves guns. The best way to stop uh, uh, an 18-year-old with an assault rifle, I think, is to give 15-year-olds assault rifles without background checks and preferably if they've got a history of emotional trauma and maybe have committed crimes. It's sort of the better call Saul way of arming our populace and making sure that many innocent people die. Blake Masters is an awful, evil, stupid fascist who, of course, is controlled by Peter Thiel uh, and will do whatever Peter, Th Peter Thiel asks him to do if he gets to the Senate. We have Mark Kelly, a freaking hero, a, a fighter pilot who fought for this country. He didn't, get, you know, quote Herman Goring. He fought for the United States in, in uh, Desert Storm. He is somebody who was an astronaut who was going, who was flying up into space. And you know what he did then? He chose to give that career up because his wife by a crazy, was shot in the head by a crazy right winger, the kind that Blake Masters want, wants to further allow to get more guns without permits and without any regulations whatsoever. In an, in an attempted political assassination, Gabby Giffords was shot through the head. Her husband, a hero, an astronaut, chose to give up his career to take care of her and then find an found an organization that fights gun violence. These are your two choices. 
I'm going to say don't go for Blake Masters, the crazy Nazi woman-hating, gun-loving, Peter Thiel-owned freak. Thank you for listening. And please subscribe to our channel here. And please follow me at Cliff Schechter. Turn on your notifications. Uh, when I said at Cliff Schechter, that's at Twitter. Turn on your notifications here. Comment, like, and uh, join us, man. We grew over a 1,000 people the last sort of few days. Join the party, baby. Thanks for being here.